Okay, greetings everyone. This is First in 2753 with the next episode of Geopolitical Simulator 4, uh, Power and Revolution. We're playing as Greece and return to the Golden Age of Greece. In the last episode, we were looking at a uh, conflict that emerged between Israel and Syria. Not intervening in this conflict yet, but we're paying close attention there. It seems like the Syrians, who do not have good relations with us, are uh, losing their capital. And if the capital falls, basically Syria is going to be uh, annihilated. We've been supporting the uh, Kurdish forces here. Uh, Kurdish Renaissance. If you go back to our uh, Secret Service here, I think it'll tell you. Uh, terrorist funded. Uh, doesn't tell you how much we gave. But we have relations with them. And we could probably, it looks like we can uh, arrange another meeting with them. So I think I'm actually going to go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll give more support to the uh, Kurdish rebels here, uh, intervene a little bit in the Syrian conflict, and uh, that'll cause uh, that'll cause them to be able to strengthen their position here. 8,000 fighters, uh, 78 armed pickup trucks, 45 mercenaries. I don't have any tanks I could sell. Oh! You know what? That's another thing I wanted to do. I wanted to be able to uh, s develop a second weapons industry. I forgot who mentioned that on the channel. Uh, I forgot to mention that last time. Um, I'll try to look that up and see if I can find out who did. But feel free to speak up uh, if you did. I know that somebody had mentioned, uh, asked me a question whether or not I could start my own weapons industry. And I think it's going to probably have something to do with uh, having the correct sectors, uh, support sectors for that uh, type of weapon as well as uh, some subsidies I think might probably be necessary. So I am going to try to set, develop my own weapons uh, industry and then I can maybe sell tanks to people. And I think it's going to be for tanks. Uh, we'll see what I have though. Uh, we're going to offer 2,000 assault rifles. Fine automatic machines. A big thank you. Our supporters will finally have the right tools. I don't know what that actually does. Um, doesn't show what type of support we have there. Financial aid, that's obvious. I'm listening. And last time we gave a hundred thousand, which they was like, "Oh, great, thanks for nothing." Uh, so this time, I think I'm going to go ahead and drop. Well, two mi a million is too much. Four hundred and seventy-eight thousand seems to be the max. All right, so let's go ahead and drop that maximum there. It's about half a million. The sum is a miserable amount, but it is the intention that counts. Are you serious? All right, back out of that meeting. Miserable amount. Let's go into that uh, half a million. All right, I would have gave you a million if I thought that was gonna have a better impact. Oh, uh, look at, yeah, they have 136 million in their budget. Yeah, I probably should have given them a lot more than half a million. That is a miserable amount. Wow. Okay. Next episode, or not? Yeah, well, next episode, I guess. Yeah. Next month, maybe I'll give them more supplies. I feel bad about that. Let's see if I can actually... Hold on. Let's see if I can remedy that right away. I guess I could give them like... What, 10 million? To have like an impact? Okay. Change the date. Meeting with them too often could uh, make it easy to be exposed. And that might cause people to declare war on us. Like Turkey. I gotta watch out for Turkey. Turkey's tough. That's something that they might like expose us on. I can see that happening. Uh, but I'm looking, working on uh, finding dirt for Turkey. And then I'm going to start supporting these guys. They got $10 million in their budget. Turkish Kurdish forces, Kurdish Renaissance forces. And then here in Iraq, I probably could start to support Kurdish forces in northern Iraq, but I don't see any actually popping up, so. But the Kurds seem to have a lot of bases. They control, they don't even control that city anymore, huh? They have control over that land, but it looks like the cities are under the control of the Syrian forces, and Syrians 
are now sending more troops in that Kurdish direction. But other Syrian troops are being forced to the Israeli front. A large amount of troops are being forced to the Israeli front. And it looks like they're attempting a naval... Ah, oh, damn it. Our network has been partially disbanded. The Got hit with espionage and warmongering there. What the heck? Do we need to spend more, give more funding on our uh, Secret Service? Because they seem to be keep getting caught. Cryptography and ICT. I don't know what that is. 37 million. We can afford it, though. Let's get it. If anyone knows exactly what that... I know cryptography is, uh, you know, encryptions and stuff like that, or decryption. A lot of Syrian forces are now moving, but no real big columns. These are all still, like, small, you know, whatever you got left type. And the balance of power seems to be way in favor of Israel. So I think the Israelis might be taking Damascus. And another airstrike from Syria on their own capital city. Oh my god. Alright, taxes. How are we looking? 700... 7.79 billion. 7 billion, 790 million dollars in excess. And we're going to wait till the end of the year before we do a statistical comparison just to see exactly what's going on here. What is this being taken? Is that the city itself? Looks like the city is about to fall. Slow that down. Meet with the Kurdish leader. Financial aid. I'm listening. How much? I said 10 million, right? Can I give 10 million? 10 million. The sum is a miserable oh, amount. God. It is the they want a lot. Give them more assault rifles. Fine, automatic machine. I don't know if that actually does anything. Alright, enough supporting those Kurds for now. Did it work though? Let's see. Uh, let's check out the numbers. Whoa, man. Things have just heated up. The Russians have now declared war on the Israelis. Ah. Ah, what is going to happen now? This could be a World War III scenario coming up. Which would really screw up my whole, you know, return to the Golden Age of Greece if I'm <laughs> embedded in World War III with the Russians. Will the Americans now come to the aid of the Israelis? That is going to be very interesting. First, I want to see... Uh, what I was looking at before, and the Kurdish Renaissance, uh, 37 million, should be at like 47 million. Maybe we'll have to wait for the week to unfold, but Russia, Russia has just declared war on Israel. This is going to change things. Fellow esteemed citizens, our current situation is critical. Faced with repeated provocations from this rogue state that is threatening both our country and the international community, I have made a conscious decision to declare war. We regret that diplomacy has failed. It is now up to our guns to speak for us so that we can defend our homeland. Okay. This is getting interesting. And I gotta slow this down a little bit. There's a lot of action going on. Don't want the game to crash on me. Knock on wood. Do not crash on me, game. Okay, the Russians have a massive aircraft carrier here. That is huge. Huge. And it looks like they just sunk an Israeli... bunch of Israeli cruisers. And they are taking command of seas. They also... Do they have an airbase? I think they have access to the Syrian airbases. Yeah, I don't know if they have an airbase. This is something. Who is that? Syrians? That's not it. Those are uh, cruisers, warships. Oh, are those Israeli warships? Israeli warships are moving in. Whoa! They did it. The Israelis just took over. 
they took over the entire capital. Wow. All right, there's going to be some negotiations now. We'll see how they turn out. But will Syria fall to Israel? Damn. Our network has been partially. I keep losing agents. They took out the Russian aircraft carrier. Wow. Wow, that thing's going under. Oh my god, the Russian aircraft carrier has been sunk. Putin's navy is getting annihilated. Wow. Will Syria end up becoming annexed by Israel? This would be crazy if that did happen. Terrorist attack. That was uh, a couple weeks ago. The Israelis seem to be in control of everything. And things are being consolidated. Our popularity is still down. Espionage. We got hit. Espionage hit. Espionage and warmongering seem to really warmongering seems to really be harming us the most. Can't seem to get out of that uh, Libyan conflict. And I still see some Syrian troops here. Okay. Our network has been partially why are guys keep getting arrested? Alright, looks like that conflict resolved itself. And Syria retained its independence. What did Israel actually get out of that? They probably got some money. Ah, it's not as uh, interesting as I thought it was going to be. <clears throat> I wonder how much money they got. Eh, that was kind of disappointing. Back to Libya. No real advances against the total jihad here. Oh, nope. They did take a total jihad city. Okay. So the Libyans are advancing against total jihad. Man. Our agents are the worst. We have the worst spies. They keep getting arrested and murdered. What the heck? Military intelligence and industrial intelligence are the only things I'm not funding here. Give me a break. These numbers should give us like great espionage results. I guess you can't win them all, even with funding. Money can't win everything for you. All right, let's push it to the end of the year here. We'll finish up the year, and uh, then we can do uh, the next episode on a statistical comparison. Warmongering, still getting hit with warmongering. I can't get out of this. One of my men succeeded in infiltrating key center. According to okay, maybe we'll get those guys. Rebel bases have appeared. Let's see if we can't hit these. Ah, their numbers are down. Their numbers are down a lot. Let's see if we can follow up with an airstrike here. Try to... aid the Libyans in ending this conflict as quickly as possible. And maybe force the hand of the Libyan uh, Democratic Forces to pop possibly negotiate a Ceasefire. We'll see if these airstrikes are effective at that at all. Here it comes on the uh, attack vector, and the missile is launched. The airstrike 
looks to probably have been ineffective. But another base just popped up down there. I'm going to try to get that one as quickly as I can. It's costing us a lot of missiles, too. 2239. Rule by Portugal. Okay, here we go. Uh, resolution 2336 on the Israeli initiative on Syria in military intervention mandate. The resolution was rejected. Several members of the Security Council vetoed it. Um... Four were zero were pro. Four were against Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan's on security council. Bolivia, China, and Russia. Those China and Russia definitely were the vetoes. Uh, and then eleven abstained. The Western Allies seem to have abstained on that vote. And that flag is just annoying me. There. Uh, why is that flag there? What is this? That's just like a glitch. I hate that. Ah, the airstrikes seem to have done some damage. Rebels are now in retreat. What damage did it do? They gained numbers. The preparations are complete. The yeah, we'll show up for Christmas. Maybe that'll give us some uh, votes. Our foray, our foray into enemy territory has had some impact. Their units have fled another zone of under their control. A lot of bases in this Owl Hot district. And it looks like this total jihad city is uh is burning. But I think the Libyans are making progress against the total jihad. As I predicted, 69. the analysis of the habits of small groups has allowed us to strike a serious blow at the terrorists. That's a very good number there. That organization has almost got to be, like, eliminated. Greek communist forces infiltrate them again. Greek Brethren of Islam is down to 17 fighters, and Libyan uh, democratic forces see if this infiltration will actually do some damage. Happiness declined? No! What are our numbers looking like in Greece? I haven't looked at the economic numbers really in a couple episodes. Oh my god, inflation is skyrocketing. Unemployment's down. I can't stop this inflation. I guess I might have to go through with those uh, taxes that were suggested by uh, Hugo Batista. But I think I'm going to do that in the new year. Put together a Hugo Batista tax package in the next episode, and I am currently playing this out until the end of the year here to see what the results are. And then next episode, we'll uh, put together that uh, tax reform bill and uh, try to counter inflation after we analyze the numbers. Political map shows all the cities. Yeah, I don't know if Israel gained much out of that fight. And it looks like the Syrian Kurds are getting pushed back. Pakistan has had an incident. So, not sure how much progress we're making here. Our infiltrated agent is on site. His first report confirms that his cell is operational. Alright, so we got an Algerian cell operational. And, uh, checking out our numbers again. Still at a $7.6 billion surplus. Your modern vision of feminism has moved the car. Let's get a meeting with her. Maybe she can give us an endorsement that'll boost us back into. Keep us out of the 80s. This warmongering is killing us. So 
Let's try another peace treaty proposal. Let's see if that airstrike may have motivated them. Patrol peace treaty abroad with the proposed peace treaty abroad with the Libyan Democratic Forces. Try to negotiate with them again. Meeting with the Women's uh, Rights Association leader here. Give us an endorsement. Oh, let's go. Let's play this. Gotta get that endorsement. Our popularity is getting killed. Warmongering is killing me with the popularity. I might have to intervene again. No thanks. Oh, ulcer. Huh, that's not to be there we go. Thanks. Charming. Nice to hear that. And will you speak highly of me? Okay, if it makes you happy. Very good. Looks good. And they refuse again. All right, let's get an endorsement here. Another total jihad city is under attack. Two total jihad cities are under attack. Libya seems to be cleaning this up pretty nicely. Meeting request with Montenegro. Okay. Montenegro, they're a country I want to invade. I still want to invade this uh, whole territory up here and take over as much as I can. Undoubtedly, you will Another uh, boost from the woman's right. There it is. There's a nice statement in the press. 5.5. Boost in the popularity. Keep us in the mid-90s. Religious holiday. Appearance for Christmas. Do I get a bump for that? Come on, give me a bump for Christmas. I thought the Greek Orthodox Christmas was in uh, January. One of my men succeeded in infiltrating Key Center. Maybe that's Russian Orthodox. I know there's differences between Greek and Russian Orthodox, but I know there's also a lot of similarities. Ah, come on, man! Our network has been. Our infiltrated agent was. Jeez. Oh, this guy. Minister for Health threatens our course of action. This is from the sports attaché. How can you keep uh, what's his face in the government? Minister for Health piles up blunder after blunder, staring to damage credibility. Is that what's causing this? The Minister of Health? I guess I could spy on him and find out what his issue is. Where is my cabinet? I never really get involved in the uh, cabinet strategies here. Minister of Health. Where are you? This guy. He's pretty popular, and he likes me a lot. Ah, I'm gonna leave him alone. Health is doing pretty good, I thought. Life expectancy is up, 81. Child mortality rate stays the same. Deaths due to AIDS is down. And all with less money. That looks good. Alright, year's about to end here. We're going to get some numbers here on the budget surplus and we'll take a look at what the economy is going to be looking like for the next year. Whoa, there it is. Those numbers are good. Here we go. Unhealthy housing situation. We have 2,077 200, houses, uh, which will now be classified as unhealthy. And it also evaluates our instance of illness per capita as 6.43%. These good results must doubtless encourage, encourage us uh, to pursue our effort and spare no expense at ministry. Okay, I could give some more money there. Here are the GDP and growth figures for the last year. As you know, these are the most important economic indicators and the most revealing of the health of our economy. Okay, so the economy grew by 
We must remain cautious and measure the consequences of our economic stability over the long term. An average of result? 14.32 is an average result? You gotta be kidding me, that's a great result. Okay, so, um... I didn't look at what it was at. GDP. Should be in the finance, I guess. Alright, so our total GDP was uh, 191 uh, billion at the beginning of last year. Now we're up to 218 billion. So pretty good GDP growth there, I'd say. I want to get my uh, budget numbers in. Meeting with Montenegro. Alright, they are looking to sell us sugar. And I am looking to buy because I want to help improve purchasing power with the crazy inflation that's going on. So they are going to sell us 8,000 ton, 8, tons of sugar at a price of 1,000 per ton, which will cost us 8 million. Let's drop this price as low as it can go. I'll take 655. All right, they went down to 890, 869, 650, 695, 825, 695, negotiate that. And we've come up with an agreement. Uh, that should help our sugar market. Sounds good to me. End. What do we get here? here? Public finances. Public finances! Oh no, what's happening with that? Budget excess. Budget excess is 8.6 billion, but public finances is great. Another big debt, a lot of debt paid off there. Another big dip in the debt. I'm gonna need to meet with her. Okay. Undeniably. Okay. All right. I think. Uh, can I get the budget surplus? Just want to see what the actual. I guess we just saw it. If you look at public debt, it went down. Ooh, looks like it dropped, uh, well, dropped the 7 billion, right? Maybe a little more than 7 billion. No, it's about 7 billion, yeah. Alright, that was the surplus. Now we have an even bigger surplus coming in the next year. Less debt, less debt servicing. So, that's about it for this episode, I think. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, please continue to like videos and share them with your friends subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already you want to see more uh, and continue to comment down below thanks for everything thanks for watching